All right, boys, trying something a little bit new with the film rooms. We're going to be actually doing them live. I'm going to be breaking down Drini versus Dez live as we kind of go through this. And uh, we're just going to be kind of breaking down the game as we go. Now, this is the semifinal game. I do want to say real quick, as this is kind of my first reaction to the MCS tournaments, we'll be doing a little bit more detailed film rooms on these games as we get going here. But as we're kind of in this little in-between period, I did want to say I think it's absolutely ridiculous what they're doing with the quad box and what they're doing with the watch parties. And the main reason why I think it's ridiculous is because if you're going to, the whole idea was essentially we're going to have Dubby stream Skimbo's game and we're going to have Slim stream Dez's game and we're going to have uh, Civil stream Fancy's game. And I think Clef was streaming um, Mr. Football 88 and Drini. My frustration with this is if you actually watch this event, right, they were switching over all different games, and that is not their job as the host of a specific game. Their whole point of doing that was so that people could actually watch the game they wanted to watch, kind of like Fox has the Cowboys game on, um, you know, CBS might have the Chiefs game on, and then you have Sunday Ticket, right, and you can pick the game that you watch. In this experience here, we had EA Madden NFL basically as your NFL red zone, which is what they wanted to do. But then all four of these streams were switching around. all, of, And you could tell that they probably made an adjustment, I think, at halftime because I'm pretty sure that this only happened in the first half on all of these different streaming plat stream streamers. But I thought it was an absolute miss on their part, and it really ruined – not ruined, but it just made it a lot less impactful of an experience – I think it's super hurt what they were trying to accomplish. So hopefully they get that right in the Harvest Tournament because I think everybody is unanimously agreeing that the – everybody unanimously agrees that that the uh, tournament should be – eight people should make the live event. And then here we are, you know, we're doing silly stuff like – now we can't even watch the games, right? So we might as well just go back to a four-person live event, which nobody wants, so that we can actually watch the games. I think it's just, I think it's just silly, and I think it was poor on their part um, to to do that. So hopefully they fix that for the next time. I'm absolutely not a fan of the quad bugs. I think the there's probably some some rationale on their side of only wanting it to be a one-day event, right? Only wanting it to be a one-day event. You know what you could do is like they used to do where you could make them longer events. So they used to be like when it first started, they were like 10-hour streams, 8-hour streams, and it was like an all-day, one-day event or one-weekend event. I don't know why they don't do that with these tournaments. Like have a have the live broadcast instead of being, you know, three hours or whatever it's going to be, have it be four or five hours. I just think it hurts the experience when these guys make the live event, they go through all of that, and they get flown out, and nobody can even watch them play because people are switching around to all different games. I thought it was, like, just ridiculous, and hopefully in the future, hopefully in the future that'll be changed. All right, guys, we got Dez versus Drini semifinal matchup. Going to be talking a little bit about um, kind of what they're both doing offensively, defensively, what we learned in the first matchup just from what I was able to catch. Biggest thing coming in this game is Drini is kind of the first person that I saw and that I think a lot of people saw running 3-3-5 odd. He ran that against David T. He ended up beating David T. And then obviously going on to make a run in the LM stage of this tournament. And now here he is in the live event. He played Mr. Football 88. His first matchup was um, against 88. He ended up playing really good defense. Drini is known for being one of the best defensive players in the world. Now, as I said, Drini is going to be in the – he is uh, in the Broncos uniforms. Dez is in the Cardinals. Dez is going to be in Packers on offense. Now, Drini is actually going to be running some double safety walk down, pinching the D-line, kind of an interesting move. Going to be some DB fire. Really interesting. He got the he has these slot corners in the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure how he did that, but that's DB fire too. And that should have been an interception early. Dez is known to turn the ball over offensively. He kind of just throws things sometimes, especially when high ball is good. He will high ball everything, and he will make it hard to intercept you. These are two really good defensive players, so there is a lot to learn from how they're playing defense. Does look like Drini is going to be in basically DB fire too. One of the things coming into this tournament that we did want to see, and look at this combo here from Dez, kind of flat corner combos 
on both sides. Really nice read against that high ball overthrow. That is something that Dez is going to have to get used to. And now here we go, fourth and six, big situation. Uh, as I said, Dez is going to be in the Packers playbook, kind of audibly and around a ton. And then Drini, I'm not sure what he's in offensively, but this dollar is really interesting. If you look at what he's doing, um, I, I'm not even really sure what he's doing with his with his safeties to get the say. I know he's this is not double safety. I'm not sure what this is a show blitz. This is show blitz dollar. Is that even show? I don't even know if it's even show blitz. This is just press. This is probably just baseline press dollar, maybe show blitz dollar, but it gets these. The biggest thing here is these slot corners on the on the side. You got to watch out for these slot corners. Here you see Dez going to do some auto around. It's going to be a flat route right here. Let's see what he ends up going to. Situation. Oh, a streak, and kind of not knowing what to do. Indecisive. Going to have to burn an early first half timeout. Really interesting here, but big thing for Drini, getting Dez on that fourth down early, is is super, super relevant, right? And we're going to see what happens with this. So it does look like Drini is just walking them down manually. This was something that I was thinking post-patch that I thought would be really, really good was just manually walking them down because you need this press alignment to get the DB fire. You see there's that four-man DB fire, just enough pressure, and Dez able to make a completion. Honestly, not a great decision, but that is the status of zones in this game. All right, so first and 10. Gonna motion out Fred Taylor. We got double corner, corner strike, double corner. Let's take a look at that on the com on the right side. Drini's not switch sticking a lot. That's kind of interesting. Drini normally, right, especially in this game, one of the best ways to get stops is to switch stick. Drini is not doing that at all. He is just coming out and balling in uh, DB fire too. So we have not seen that this year. Now we have a little bit more of a. You see here, this is a little bit more traditional double safety, and that's not. This is also not dollar. That was not dollar what he was in there. I want, I don't know what he's doing on defense. It's kind of interesting. Drini is one of those guys that always comes to the tournament with something. He always has something. He hides things really well. Here's double safety, and there it is. He's manually walking them down out of double safety sometimes, and that's when he wants the back top corners. And then sometimes he's pressing, and he is, he is uh, pressing and then bringing the safeties into the box himself. Uh, here we go, a little A-gap pressure, a little send five. One of the most important things we can learn from these games are blitzes, pass protections, route combinations. There's so many things that you can learn from watching these games. It's why uh, we really do these film rooms and try to just get in-depth with things. So here you see there's a press alignment. This probably is a signal that DB Fire 2 is coming. Uh, we'll see what he ends up doing here. It appears when he comes out in double safety, he's not sending DB Fire as much. So we'll just kind of see what he is going to do. He's switching his user a ton. He's using his left side. There's that DB Fire blitz off the left side. He's got the yellow zone there and is going to get the knockout. So third and seven situationally, this is the kind of down. Be kind of interesting to see uh, what Dez ends up doing here. Probably going to audible around third and seven. When you get somebody on third downs and fourth downs on their first drive, it's a huge, huge deal. There you see goes to double safety, but he walks these guys off. This is probably not DB fire. You see there it's a four-man pressure. That's a pick, but a high ball, and you see Draney's face. Facial expressions there. The high point is super, super bad for Madden, and I will continue to say that because that should never, ever, ever be a catch in competitive Madden. It was a bad read. It probably should have been intercepted at the very least knocked out, but now it's a completion and a first and goal, and Dez gets out of a fourth and seven situation. All right, so now we're going to go to tight white off. This is a, a cheap motion play. Notice what he's doing. He's stemming this out route all the way up on these RPO plays. Watch this. He will look to throw the out route. If he can, he can't. He's just going to give it up. What he what people are doing is they're stemming those out routes all the way up so that it basically turns them into a streak. We were showing that out of the Chargers playbook uh, in one of our videos here on the channel. You'll see him do it again here. See how he's stemming these RPOs? It's uh, kind of a, a super interesting thing. He's got the hitch here on this. It's a really good RPO. Watch what's going to happen. We got the flat. We got the corner. A lot in one play. And or I guess it wasn't an RPO. I guess it was just a basic cheap motion, kind of scramble around. You know, we're just going to throw the ball away, and that's going to bring up a third down goal. If you're Drini here, you know, you're basically saying, you know, play good defense, I'll drive. Let's just hold to three right here. If you're Dez, you're trying to almost steal something because there's been a couple times on this drive probably should have been stopped and hasn't been stopped. And so we'll see if he's able to uh, just see what he's able to do. Going to bunch tight end, Madden Rocks actually was in a lot of bunch tight end against Fancy. So we'll take a look at that. But let's see here. 
Let's see what these two, again, notice this is press dollar, right, because of these guys' alignment. We've got about 15 corner routes here to the right side. I'm not sure what we're doing here. A little, little glitchy motion. Um, so now, and this is this is also something, just kind of a little sidebar about them patching the game and changing things and all that kind of stuff. While, you know, maybe mid blitz was bad for Madden, I'm not sure. What's interesting is now we have an illegal formation being ran in a comp MCS tournament because of a motion bug that has been in the game since the game's been out. Be cool if they patch their game because that, to me, is uh, it's ridiculous that that hasn't been patched yet. He had four strong to the right, nobody in line of scrimmage on the left. He's in literally in a legal formation, but we don't worry about that. We just attack things like double mug. Uh, here, Drini, this looks kind of like 335 out. I'm not sure exactly what this is. We get a motion out, a lot of meshing concepts, a lot of double drags in the red zone there right now. And Dez just gonna hype, you know, just gonna find a way. And this is what Dez does. He just finds a way, able to get a touchdown, able to make a great play. So all right. We'll see what the kicker does here. So now uh, Drini on offense is – Drini and Des are kind of similar. They both are really good on defense, and they're both kind of – trying to think how to word it. Like they just – they kind of find a way on offense. Drini does it through uh, more of a slow pace, and Des does it through like a, the opposite, a very fast pace. Uh, also, take note of the quarterback they're using here. Drini's got Joe Burrow at the quarterback position. Not sure of the theme team, but it's probably a 20-20-20 in a team of the week. This guy, Malcolm Rodriguez, a lot of people using this guy. Ed Reed. Jerry Sneed, Poyer. Already has Poyer all the way ranked up. Ginkle. All right, so Drini's in a – I don't even know what this is. I think this is the normal – I think this is Giants. It might be Giants. It's the normal Y off with the motion plays. These are some of the – yeah, this is going to be – these are going to be a bunch of interesting plays – that you just don't see a lot of people run. I don't know what this combo is. We're going to have to snap the ball eventually. Um, okay, doke, and there you go. So Dez was kind of one of the guys last year, super early on, running the double safety walk down out of dollar. Uh, we'll take a look here at what he's doing. So we hear, and Dez is going to do some double mug. Okay, so Dez is going to get into some double mug. He's probably the only guy at this point. Uh, why you run double mug? And see, this is where these motion outs are going to kill double mug. We'll see what he does. He's user in here. Got a lot of underneath combos. Backing this guy off. This is why you call this offense for these short posts. A little drag right there. And there you go. All right, well. Yeah, this is – I'm almost positive this is, uh, this is Giants playbook, which we literally just did a video on on the channel. Notice his pass protection here too, but it's these it's these short posts out of these normal for, normal flex formations. There we go. We get the tight end corner. No streak. Okay, uh, just <laughs> it's just interesting to me too. The route combos in light of switch stick too. It's going to be interesting to watch how they. Dez is going to probably switch stick a lot more than Drini is going to, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So a couple things we learned in the first quarter. Number one, Drini's defense. They're both in. They're both to a degree in dollar. Dez is going to run some. Looks like Dez is going to run a lot of double mug this game. I'm not sure why, but he is. This is. I think this is Trips Flex though. See this. This might. This might be Eagles. Eagles or Lions. Might be Lions. I don't know. I have to pull up the. Pull up the screen. The Huddle GG. But this this formation with these with the there's a bunch of cheat motions. This normal Y, normal close. It's got a bunch of. I don't think this is Lions. I think this is. I want to say this is probably Eagles. But we got that cheat motion, that nice short post from the tight end. Um, here we go. We're gonna go double seam streaks with a little return route. It's a great combo. Good user, and there's that pressure, and you see double mug. We did a video of this on the channel literally right before we did this video. Double mug is still really good. It is still really good. A little bit more of an edge pressure base, 
but this is still see how he's using this guy it's going to be a five-man blitz you try to block you try to slide that's going to make these linebackers come up the a gap let's see if we get anything here here we get a little four-man loop blocked running back almost an interception and you see that des is all over him early in this game fourth and four situation 426 left in the second quarter we'll take a look here and see what des can do defensively probably going to see him stay in that double mug one of the main things you want to be doing is you want to be uh, see so you're talking to the admins about something one of the main things you want to be doing here defensively is is that you want to you know basically force them to have to step uh, what I call like take away the layups and the three pointers you don't want to give up a touchdown on the top but you also don't want to give up the underneath you want to make them beat you in that middle area of the field super important defensively all right, here we go, fourth and four. Oh, and here you see Dez doing, this is like classic Dez. Now he's just going to come out in some random thing, and it's going to be these cover twos. with the, It's very interesting defense, and Drini just, just darts it. And he, Dez has a tendency to do this where he comes out in his big, his quote-unquote big down defense, which I don't know why he runs this. Everybody in the world knows what he's going to be doing. He's going to be calling that cover two. He's going to protect the sticks, and he's just going to basically call it good. And for some reason um, – for some reason, he <laughs> continues to do that. I don't know why you don't stay in double mug in that situation. But both of them go down. Both of them get seven on their first drive. And, yeah, you see here, I'm in cover two, basically. It's literally cover two. Drini knew the play call. He literally knew the play call that Des was going to make. I mean, you just – that was so predictable. All right, we have a little RPO bubble screen. Mm, little handoff, all right. All right, let's take a little look here, a little closer look into Drini's defense this drive and try to actually see and just kind of learn a little bit of what he's doing. So you see here, this is double safety. He manually walks this guy off. We'll see if he does it on this right side. He's going to walk that guy off. There's DB fire, okay. So that was DB fire off the left side. Again, it's just kind of a interesting when he – it's almost like what he's doing is, is when he wants to play cover two, he'll leave these guys backed off. So watch these outside corners. You see him walk these guys down. This is probably a backed off hard flat. We'll see what happens. We'll look, at like, look at these corners here. Maybe a soft squad. I don't know. Hand off. Nothing doing. Third and one, and now we have a first and ten. All right. Now we go. Oh, this is that return route corner divide, I think, on a bunch wide. There's that loop. There's that cover six, Willie. Cover six, Willie. Very good blitz there from Drini. One of the best in the game. Gets a nice sack. What this does, guys, is having a blitz. This is why every defense, every comp defense is built around a blitz because when you have a blitz, you force them to have to set up their pass protection, which gives you more time to do adjustments. They have to set up pass protection. Uh, and the main pass protection is to go play action, but when he goes play action, I bet you're going to see Drini send DB fire off the left side. So you see how Drini's mixing up the blitzes as well. Watch this left side slot corner. You're going to see DB fire. He actually sends this guy up the A-gap. I don't know what the purpose of that is. That might have been cover six Willie. That's what play action does to cover six Willie. It literally just kills the blitz. You can't really blitz. You can't really use cover six Willie against play action. You need them to not be calling a play action play. And every time Des goes to this bunch nasty, he's almost always calling a play action play. So just kind of something interesting about tendencies. Here's DB fire. There you see it. There's those contains. And Des is going to be able to dot it up and get a touchdown. Nice second drive there from Dez. All right, so second drive here for Drini now. And you see, see, there's that. See, see, that's the that's what I'm saying with that cloud flat. I don't, I don't know exactly what zone that is. Another thing you're starting. Hopefully, you're seeing this. I haven't seen Drini switch stick much. I've yet to see him switch stick much. Here we go, Dez back in the double A, double mug. This is the RPO or this is a cheap motion flat play. They got that sharp post. There's that send four, and that's now you're starting to see. Once you start to slide protect, so if you send five, you get them to block, you get them to slide. You see and notice that Draining was like slide and ride or trying to block the blitz. Well, now that opens up these outside guys on contains. So we'll see what he ends up doing here. This is a nice trips combo, a streak, uh, 
with a little speed out out there. Really nice. See, here's that contain. There's that switch stick pick, and that is a huge, huge turn in the game. And it looks like Dez is actually going to probably take that back for six. And now you've got a 21-7 to ball game. Not very good. Not very good at all for Young Dreamy. And that is one of those things where, I mean, when you go to trips tight end, that's a, such a common combo that people utilize. It's a great switch stick by Dez. I talked, I've talked about it a bajillion times. I've talked to so many players about it, and I don't know why people continue to, to say, like, that switch stick hasn't really changed the game that much. Switch stick has completely changed the entire course of Madden for probably ever and it's because of that they can do stuff like that. They can sit in a stock cover three, and you can call a route that always beats cover three, but all of a sudden they switch stick onto the ball. It no longer beats cover three, and now it's a pick six going back the other direction. A huge change in momentum, a huge shift in this game, and almost, a, almost another interception for Dez, and Dez is all over him right now, all over Drini here in the second quarter. This is a huge drive for Drini. He's going to do some, some, looks like stemming the tight end all the way up, turn him into a streak here. This is a, a great little cheat motion. He stems the streak up. I'm not sure. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, cheat motion. We're going to stem that tight end up so that it runs a little bit more like a streak, or I guess not a cheat motion. And we're looking for a cover two bomb here on the right side. Get absolutely screamed at by that double mug. And notice what Dez is doing. Dez is really just mixing up. And this is uh, another thing I've talked a little bit about. A another commonality that you're going to see in every really good comp defense, they are going to make everything look the same. So Dez is mixing up. Sometimes he's using in here. Sometimes he's using in here. Sometimes he's using in back here. He's changing it up all the time. You see manually moving people, but he's going to get on to one of these DNs, one of these linebackers. Let's see who's user now. It changes how they blitz. It changes how the O-line targets. You see he's on the slot corner. Great read from Drini. Knock out. And now we got him in a fourth and 18. Biggest play of the game by far. 21-7. to seven. And I believe that Dez did get ball at halftime. So Drini's in a situation where he's still not out of it if he gets stopped here. But this could. This is, this is a huge play. This is a huge play. What does he dial up? For this, this is that short post I was telling you about. This is I'm almost positive this is that normal close, normal Y close uh, formation. I want to say in the Giants playbook, might be in Lions as well. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you got some deep corner route. You got that short post. We know Dez is going to use her this short post, so he's probably looking for that corner route. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he really should have completed that. I don't know what Dez was doing defensively. That was the only route on the play that could hurt you. And, you know, another thing you're seeing is that when people like Drini, when they run these kind of off meta, almost ran, seemingly to most people randomly, you see there's that stem up um, route. You know, so here he's looking, he's reading right here. Does that guy bite? He bites. He's going to still hand it off because that outside corner bailed. What Drini does is he's an off meta, a little bit off meta offensively. And so when you show up to the tournament, you show up to a live event, Dez has gotten thousands of reps against bunch, trips, tight, right, against the main metas. He's not gotten thousands of reps against normal Y off close, I'm sure. So he might not even know, like, the popular play calls. Here's that cheat motion or that, that glitch motion again. You see here there is an illegal formation over here, and Dez is going to have 15 corner routes to the right side. I don't know what just happened, but he's wide open, and now we're 28-7. to seven. And now Drini's in a really, really tough spot. He really needs seven in this minute 43. And Dez is running away with this semifinal matchup. And I believe our next matchup that we have is Fancy is going to be playing Big Tay. So I got Fancy in that game. Could be seeing a Fancy Dez final if Drini does not. Uh, not figure out his offense because right now Dez is bagging him with a defense that they just patched. Okay, Dez is bagging him with a defense that they just patched. And that double mug, a lot of people said double mug is dead, and Dez is out here screaming at people with that double mug defense. So you see here it again, double mug. Watch his user. Watch how he changes who he users on. Here he's probably on the DN. He moved him a step. 
take a look at things. What I would probably do is now I would, and then he might even switch off. Let's see what he does. He's probably still on this D because I think he moves back. Nope, he's on the middle linebacker you see there. So, what, again, notice what he's doing. He's kind of moving people, tweaking things. And then you don't know if he's on the, the – the cool part about this defense right now, you don't know if he's here or if he's if he's here. The thing that is really important is if he's there, there's so many different – you have to do a different pass protection than if he's over here. And that's why the user – change. see how here's – look at this pass pro. Watch his pass pro here. Okay, he does. he's able to pick it up. Still get a nice instant shed from Nitschke, and now we get him another third down and seven. Dez is bagging this formation. Normal while of close. Normal while of close. So now we know. I just don't know for sure the playbook. I want to say it's Giants, but it, I don't know that it is. I have to really look that up. But you see, the, the reason this playbook is good is these short post routes. So it's drag streak combo almost every time. There's a screamer again. And you see Dreams pass protection is not working. And... It's because of Dez's user. It is totally because of Dez's user. Another fourth down, fourth down and seven. Honestly, if Dez gets a stop here, the game's probably over. Not because of the just the way that this game plays. Hard, hard to say that this game is not over if he does not get if he does not get off the, the if he gets a stop here again. Big down. What does Dez do? He goes to nickel over or big nickel over G. One of the two, and we're running. We're running. I mean, literally, I could show you the play like. Dez does this. I don't know why he does this in big games. It didn't work the last time he did that. He's been absolutely caging him in double mug, and now we're going to come out in just this pinch DB fire two, or not DB fire two, big nickel over G, and you're looking at this. And I mean, look at this coverage. This guy's on a third. This guy's on a third. And we got cloud, cloud, and deep post. And you see, I mean, it's just easy to beat it. It's just easy to beat that coverage right now. In my opinion, that was one of the probably the worst decisions Dez has made all game is calling that defense. It's not a, it's it's just not a good decision on his part. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Motion out, Pacheco. A lot of motion out in this book. Now we're back in double mug again. You see he's moving. See how he's okay. Now I'm here, and it's a different pass protection, and he's trying to throw that drag, and that drag is not looking very good. Not looking very good at all. All right, let's see what he does here in this situation. We got double mug. Now he's moving the safety down. Again, watch how he changes his user. Let's see if he changes this time to the D end. He should be doing it soon because he needs to send some pressure. There should be coming. Here's a little cheap motion in the tight end or a little uh, actual regular motion. There you see there. Almost gets the pressure in. Yeah, I think I think Drini's in the Eagles. Yeah, I'm almost positive he's in Eagles because Eagles has that trips play. Yeah, he's definitely in Eagles. I think yeah, I'm gonna make sure Eagles has a bunch nasty, but he's I'm almost positive he's in Eagles here. This is dagger, scream, and throw right at a user. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, I bet you he's in Eagles. All right. All right, so going to trips flex with that auto motion. Is that you know it's Eagles? Uh, Eagles has this auto motion, and then also has close. Uh, we got double streaks here with that uh, that sharp post. Drini loves these sharp posts. He basically built his entire offense around these sharp posts uh, in this playbook. I'm gonna have to take a look at Eagles though after uh, after this game. He's definitely in Eagles playbook. I wish they would have shown that. I don't think they showed that pregame. But anyways, you see here, the basic pass pro is half sliding to the right, IDing this guy, or blocking the running back, IDing this guy. That's the basic pass pro we're getting here. And so you're going to slide right, you're going to ID this guy, and now we'll see what Des ends up doing defensively. But what should happen is, honestly, you either zone out or you could send four up the A. Uh, it looks like they agreed to take a delay there. So he's going to just decline that. Not sure if he just couldn't adjust or what. 20 seconds, 28-7 ball game. Drini is going to audible back to that trips flex. It's kind of interesting how these guys, you know, do all this stuff to hide stuff, and they come out and they, they really do the same stuff. 
Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, looks like we have double streaks here on the left side, kind of trying to cook a cover two up. We're gonna see a lot of streaks on the field. Everyone's on a streak. That's the that's the play call. Everybody's on a streak. Cover four from Dez. Gonna throw right at it. Gonna ag catch it and going to catch the ball. Now we're in a situation though, a tough situation for Drini. He doesn't get in. I don't think he can do anything here with the runoff. I, I'm not sure if I remember. He is able to get that one second runoff. Now, this is a definitely a decision for Drini, in my opinion. He's going to go for this, but this is a, in my opinion, kind of a challenging decision, honestly, um, just because situationally, you know, situationally, if you don't get this conversion, you're effectively out of the game. I mean, it's going to be very difficult to come back if he does not get this this um, this touchdown right here. So this is this is literally like this is where again we watch in the film. This is the best red zone play he has. This is the best two point play he has. We get a motion out on the ISO receiver. I think we just got a delay. Now what do you do, Drini? Did he just want more space? Did he get a delay because he didn't know what to do in that situation? That totally happens in these situations. High pressure situation. The clock's ticking. Sometimes. You know, you might just, you know, kind of have a brain fart at the uh, line of scrimmage. Could have totally been in what happened there. But here we go, 28-7. to seven. What does Drini end up calling in this situation? Also, what does Dez call defensively? This is a huge play for Dez. He knows he wins the game if he gets a stop here pretty much. So he's in dollar. He's in the double safety. He's walking these guys down. This is a pinched dollar look, probably DB fire. If we know Dez, we know he loves that DB fire too. Only going to send four. Throws right there. That is a huge dot. It's honestly terrible defense. And you can see Dez's like facial expression. It's honestly terrible defense from Dez um, in that situation. Like you got to have somebody in the middle field. It's one of the most obvious routes that you got to be able to defend in that situation. Just kind of honestly just a bad, 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 bad play uh, defensively for Dez. And that's how these guys are going to go in a half. 10 to tw or 14 to 28. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It does look like Drini does get ball out of half. So the reason that touchdown was such a big deal in this game is because now Drini is in a situation where he can get himself back into the game with a touchdown on this next drive. All right, guys. Starting in the second half, here we have Drini. All right, here we go. We got Drini starting out. First drive of the second half. And we got Drini audibling around a little bit throughout here. We'll see how he kind of does this. Again, the main reason why he's in this formation is for these short post drives. He's basically changing everything else. And then he also likes the, apparently likes the alignment. He likes the seam streaks that he's able to get out of this. But in general, the main reason why he is in this playbook is for these short post routes that he has on the outside that get under all the deep blues and are kind of just a little bit a uh, little bit difficult to switch stick. Just get to a nice spot on the field. There we go. Standard, this is that motion post play out of trips. Let's see if – I have not seen Dez switch stick, and that's a really good throw. And now here's Drini. Drini's back in the game. He's completely back in the game. He has done everything that he's needed to do to get himself back in this ball game. And now a lot of pressure shifts to Dez. Now, these are five-minute quarters, and we have about nine minutes left in this game. So, I mean, we're in a position where if Drini gets one stop, it's going to get real interesting. So, you're going to see the best possible defenses that Drini has labbed up, that he has created, that he has developed for this moment. He needs a stop on one of the next two drives. One of the next two drives, Drini needs a stop. And if he gets a stop – he might actually pull out this comeback victory. I mean, he was down to, when I want to say was was it 28-7, 21-7. So huge deficit, and he's back in this ball game. Here we go. Dez starting out a bunch strong. Again, look at what Drini is in. It's the combination, and, and really the main difference here, guys, is you if you really look at this, it's really the difference is these corners. As you see here, these corners are backed up. That means he's going to walk this down, but it's probably not going to be DB fire. Um, now, where he's user at, see, here's that four-man blitz. That's, I believe, cover six Willie. And Dez, the reason that cover six Willie's not getting in there is because Dez is calling play action. Play action makes edge blitz three and cover six Willie a lot worse, but it does leave the door open for DB fire. So you should see Drini sending a little bit more DB fire with as much play action as Dez is calling. Now, I don't think he calls play action much from this formation. So we'll see what he ends up going with here defensively. 
There's a pinch, late pinch, late audible from Dez. Dez working the clock game a little bit here. Not, I, I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, just going to get a base. This should just be standard offense, but Dez is, does look like he's walking the clock down a little bit. Not sure. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, once he gets into a field goal position, I guess I could see you doing that. Dez is trying to get this game over with. Drini is trying to extend the game. When you are down playing from behind, you're just trying to make the game take longer so you have more of a chance to get back in the game. So anyway, kind of interesting uh, from the two strategies here. Look at all these streaks. <laughs> are we motioning somebody? Yeah, motion out, streak. Mo this is the combo. This has been a good – this has been a combo he's used all game. There's a flat wide open. We miss it. We throw a seam streak into double coverage, and it doesn't matter because seam streaks are that good. I'll tell you a couple takeaways – from the tournament so far, uh, seam streaks are still really good. High points are not as good, but still good. And then audible and around. A lot of audible around. DB fire two. And then also having multiple blitzes like edge blitz, Willie, and DB fire two. Three different style blitzes really uh, trying to take advantage of the offensive line. So here this is probably, I don't know what this will be. Yeah, DB fire. I haven't seen his pressure really give any – honestly, I haven't seen – I've only we've only seen him get pressure one time. On the flip side, we've seen Dez consistently getting good pressure against Drini. So just kind of an interesting little deal uh, with this with this game so far. A little motion out of the running back. This is a combo. A lot of people like to see if there's a corner, there's a speed out. That's open. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really surprised we're not seeing more switch sticking either. We really have only seen one switch stick pick, which is really interesting in this game because I feel like that's the best way to get stops is uh, try to switch stick pick somebody, and, and you're not seeing a lot of that so far. Here we go, RPO bubble screen. We might see it in Fancy's game. Here's that motion over. This is a completely illegal formation that he's running, completely illegal formation. But in Madden, it's legal because they hate us. I don't know why they do that yet. I don't know how this I don't know how this right here is a legal formation, but it is, I guess. There we go. Jamar J. J. Chase. And J. Chase gets the bubble screen. I need to make sure I take a picture of that so that I can post that on my Twitter. If you're not following me on X, x.com slash Cody Bowd YT. I post a lot of tips over there on Twitter. And here, here's this. This is a, that cheap motion play out of Packers hitch flat corner this is literally a wide corner concept out of the air raid looking for that corner route or that flat good read from des that should have been a touchdown it's a great tackle touchdown saving tackle honestly from uh from Drini. all right so we go wide off close and we will see what what we're doing here down the red zone out of packers right a lot of these players Really, you know, the red zone. So we got 6-1-D from Drini, user in that weak side safety, power O, good run from Dez, free touchdown. That was absolutely a free touchdown. There was actually no resistance there uh, on that red zone stand, and we need a little bit better, honestly need a little bit better run defense right there from Drini. But that is a standard 6-1 run defense that a lot of people have been using. All right, so here we go, Drini. This is a stay alive drive. This Drini needs a touchdown on this drive. I mean, you're pretty much – you need a touchdown pretty much the rest of the game to stay in this game. Uh, you are seeing Dez start to switch take him a little bit, and maybe that's just because he's getting a little bit more of his tendency down. If Dez gets a stop, the game is pretty much all but over, especially if he gets a stop and then even just gets a field goal, he's in a good position. Watch what Dez is doing on this double mug, though, boys. I mean, this is super good. And really, this is just a base 10-4, nothing crazy. Uh, from this either so kind of interesting uh, just in what they're doing def uh, defensively right now all right so here we go we've got uh, f we need to snap this before the end of the third going back to the strips flex now we got a post route uh, kind of a post drag and then that two streaks on the left side gosh man Drini's throwing these posts man he is throwing these posts Able to get down there. Now we got a red zone situation for Dez. We'll see if Dez can stand up for himself a little bit more than Drini did down inside the five-yard line. Is there a run defense? Is there a goal line defense? Is there something that we can understand? Because I'm telling you, if you can get stops in the red zone, one of the most important and timeless principles in this game 
and I've, I've said this for the last couple of years at least, get those stops in the red zone. Getting seven in the red zone and getting stops. Now, Dez is going to be in 6-1, show blitz. Blitz the linebacker. He's going to use her. Uh, here we go. We've got strong, fullback slam. And it looks like Dez is prepared for that, and he blows that up. That's a great red zone stop so far. And now we're in a second and goal situation. You're really trying to just get yourself to fourth down. Hard to pass inside this. If you can make them have to pass, it is very hard to pass down here. So we'll see here. It looks like this is a stretch to the left side. Motion over off the same motion. We're going to run stretch. Let's see what happens. This should and tries to cut it back up. Not able to get there. Third and goal. Des standing up for himself so far. This is where this is. You're probably going to see a stretch here. Stretch right at him now, and that is going to be bagged. That is huge for Dez, and he shows off that power of that 6-1 defense. And now decision time for Drini. He pretty much has to go for this. Uh, he totally has to go for this. However, this is going to be a, a tough conversion because you don't really want to be passing here, but he's ran the ball three times and got nothing. So you also are not really looking great in that regard. So you got to kind of run the ball, or I'm sorry, pass the ball. It looks like he's going to split slot, full back inside for the bread, and almost got stopped right there. Almost got stopped. But Dez is able, is able to get the stop down inside the five. So one of the takeaways for the MCS, let me do a little. I'm actually gonna be doing a live X, live live tweet. Takeaways from the most feared challenge. All right, let's just start making our list. So my first takeaway is first takeaway is baseline or um, dollar. 335 odd or double mug on D, pretty much. Um, get red zone D. 6 1 red zone D. That is the main D in the red zone. And Dez actually looks pretty good from Dez here. Drini's going to change defenses. He's getting the 6 1. This defense is, and Drini did this, I want to say, against Henry. Uh, in the live of, in the bowl in the Madden Bowl last year, but Drini did this against Henry in the Madden Bowl. He's going to change defenses. Why is he changing defenses? Because Dollar has not worked. So he's going to go to six one here. And six one is traditionally known as a begging defense. So you should see a lot more RPOs. If Dez literally, if Dez just gets a field goal, he's honestly fine. He, he's he's honestly fine. Um, yeah. I think he's totally fine with three here. You should be fine. He's not. It's not like the game's completely over, but it's going to be hard for Drini to win this game. So you see here, this is what kills 6-1. This is what kills 6-1. This is the trips audible, and this is where you're going to try to really hit this screen, or you got this stemmed up streak, or you can just run the ball. So a couple things we're peeking at here. He takes that quick out. He actually stemmed that all the way down uh, against that trips. Good route. Good route from uh, from Dez. Switch. I'm I'm still surprised we just haven't seen a lot of switch sticking so far. Not compared to last tournament to this tournament, haven't really seen as much switch sticking. I don't know if people are just getting better combos or what. Curl flat. Got this little drag right here. See how he wants to read this play. He's got a streak, a speed out. What are we putting this guy? Okay, we're just gonna take our flat. We're just not. We're not just gonna take our flat. Don't love that from Dez. I would have looked at that flat early. That's almost always open against 6-1. I would have liked to see a flat fade combo on the left side because you got to be anticipating like a cover two hard flat type of defense in that situation from Drini. But brings up a really big down. This is third and four. This biggest down of the game so far. 6-1 is, is not terrible. Backed off corners on the outside typically means cover two uh, this year. Typically you're going to see cover two in a backed off corner. Well, we have uh, – so we know that speed out's probably – so we're really looking streak, probably to drag just based off alignment here. Uh, streak, drag, our sack, big stop. Now we got a fourth down, and now we have a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We have a ball game. Drini with a huge play, and honestly, Des with a huge decision here because if he does not get the first down – he doesn't really – he also simultaneously does not guarantee himself the ball back. That is 
Um, that is that is a huge, huge deal. All right, so it does look like Dez is is going to go for it. Drini's still in that 6 1. He's kind of moving a lot of people around. Auto motion. This is a great call from Dez. That should be wide open. That's free. That is so free, and he might take that for six. That is a huge play from Dez. And I wish I could rewind the game. We're watching this literally live as it's happening. But if you go back and watch that play, that is such a good play from Dez because Drini was moving the safeties. He was moving everything over the top of the bunch. A quick cheat motion. When you cheat motion, it's really hard to move players and, and basically revert anything that you did. And bam, snap, touchdown. Very free play, honestly, for Dez. One of the freer touchdowns he's going to get. Huge, huge, huge play in this game. And now two minutes. You see, here's the replay. See, there's that cheat motion. There's all that traffic over there. This is a touchdown. Great route from Dez. All right, so let's see here what uh, – all right, so Dez is going to stay in double. Now look what he's doing. Now look at this. Now he's using on the slot corner over. He's sending six, sending the dogs. I can't wait to watch this. This is this is how I've taught people how to run 6-1 before. You basically can, or, um, you can run double mug almost exactly like you run 6-1. You can bring the slot corner over the top of this, or you can even bring a safety. But look, he's using the slot corner. He's going to be sending six. Here he clicks off of him. I'm not sure why he did that. He's back on him here. This is a send six, and we're just making Drini have to wake a read. You see, he can't block the blitz. He cannot block the blitz out of this. When when you send six, he's going to have to he's going to have to get the ball out quick. Dez is basically probably going to sit in that cover two cloud flat and say, take your underneath, take your underneath, take your underneath. But I'm keeping everything in front of me. So what you should probably see from Dez, I'm not even kidding you, is quarter, quarter, probably soft squat, soft squat, and we're sending six. Now he's going to have this guy pressed up here more than likely and play man to man. He's got this motion out. He's got to worry about a little bit. He's probably going to switch his user maybe on this right side. I would use her here and send five. He sends four. Great. And then pressure. And you're seeing, I mean, this is a ma This is a master class in double mug right now, what Dez is doing defensively. He is, he is playing great defense. Now we're bringing this safety down. And notice Drini keeps going to this in key downs. It's this play right here at a trips flex. You've, he has called this a ton this game, um, and really it's it's going to be looking for this post route right here. He's going to see if he can sink this in. He's not even going to run the post route. He's going to have two streaks. Don't love this play call at all. There's not much going to be able to be thrown. We throw a speed out. We get a speed out. Honestly, that's a ah, uh, it's just not a great play call, and it's honestly not great defense from Dez. You got to read that and get that over there. That's the only route he had on play. Obviously, situationally, Des may be probably expecting that tight end route as I was, and maybe Drini just got him. Um, here, a little lag in the in the stream. That's got to be a knockout. Uh, one minute, 11 seconds. Drini does have all three timeouts. So if he gets the touchdown, you probably kick to Des and give yourself a chance at a stop. I'm not sure if you kick or if you onside. You probably don't onside, though, because it's too easy to get a field goal. So here, Dez user in the slot corner. There's that send six, speeding him up. There's that tackle inbounds, and the clock is running. Dez is managing this situation really well defensively and putting himself in a good position. I think Drini just took a timeout. Yep, he did take a timeout. So now Drini is forced to onside kick. So if Drini scores, he is going to onside kick. That's all he can do uh, offensively here. Des shifts back into this double safety uh, defense and actually perfect defense from Des. I'm telling you, man, Des is probably top, uh, maybe number one defensive player in the world, especially this year. This is a great defensive Madden for Des because it's so switch stick dependent. He can he can just switch all over the field. He's got great user skill. So let's see here. There's edge blitz, force a check down in bounds and bounds and bounds. All right, 32 seconds. He did get out of bounds, though. And Drini is using Drini is using Joe Burrow at quarterback. I'm not sure how many people were actually using him. Dez is using Levis. I've personally been using Levis. That's been what I've I, – I have not even really tried Burrow, but I have been using Levis all year – or as soon as he came out. 
This is now what what did Drini throw the touchdown? Remember, he threw that touchdown on that post, so he might be going to that. There's a bubble screen, and Dez is going to give him kind of almost a free first down. And another timeout from Drini, kind of running out of clock here. And and this is, you know, this is this is a super big situation. And let's see a little lag here from the broadcast. Like to see them not do that. A little drag route. I've told you guys the drags this year. <laughs> you could just throw drags. You need five yard hook curls really to be able to take anything away underneath. It's the underneath drags are always open. But again, another timeout. Twenty four seconds. He is down to a. He needs a touchdown and he needs. But he can't run the ball because he can't afford the clock runoff. Throws it into fifteen different people. That was the same play he scored a touchdown on. Dez gets the stop, and Dez is going to go on and be victorious. Drini falls to Dez in the semifinal game. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you want to check anything else out, make sure you check us out on School. That's where all my ebooks are. Uh, great win from Dez. We'll get into the next semifinal game.